In case you missed it, early voting is happening right now across Georgia, and the Secretary of State's office says more than 1 million Georgians have already cast their ballots. As of the polls closing yesterday, the numbers show more than 1.1 million votes have been cast, which represents about 16% of active voters in our state. Most of the votes have been made in person. The record-breaking trend is expected to continue over the next week and a half. And when you think about the election, the negativity can sometimes really be oppressive. It's yeah. overwhelming, and we are just 12 days away from the election now, and those attack ads seem to be everywhere you look. Everywhere you turn, and while everyone is complaining about them, our very own Caitlin Ross found out they actually work, right, Caitlin? Exactly, and if you're watching this newscast right now, you've seen them. But even if you tune this out and start scrolling on your phone, the experts say you cannot get away from the negative political ads. Georgians are tired of government mandates. And the reason that the campaigns are spending a lot of money on these ads is because they move the needle. Emory Goizueta Business School marketing professor David Schweidel says it's as simple as that. More phony Abrams. The negative campaign ads, particularly the negative ads that are coming from the candidates themselves rather than some anonymous organization, those are the ads that we tend to remember and those are the ones that move the needle. The positive ads, and there, there still are some positive ads out there, but what we had found was they're just not effective uh, in gaining that vote share for the candidates. He says the research is as specific as the advertising. Based on the profiles that are built around you, based on your other activities, we can identify what is the particular message that's likely to resonate with this particular person. Is this person somebody that hasn't made up their mind? More candidates are jumping on online because it's cheaper and just as effective. He says Facebook's own research and algorithm prove it. In terms of the content that you're served, anger responses, you know, the little angry face is weighted five times more than a like. And the reason that Facebook prioritizes that is that's the content that people choose to engage with. And I know I said the election was just 12 days away, but he says the likelihood of runoffs in Georgia in several key races means these nasty ads are going to be hanging on through the holidays. Yeah, that's what we expect. We just got to grin and bear it. All right, thanks a lot, Caitlin. And right now there are a couple of key dates to know about here, folks. Friday, October 28th is the deadline to request an absentee ballot. That ballot needs to be turned in by November 8th, which is Election Day. So if you're going to mail it in, it still needs to be received by Election Day as well. Early in-person voting is going to end on November 4th. Times and locations can vary, of course. We have all that election information for you, including the candidate bios, polling times and locations. You can find it right there on our 2022 election guide. It's on our homepage right now on 11alive.com.